This is the wife's motorbike. Gaze upon her two-wheel death machine. As people seem to think, for some reason. Oh, the dangerous machines, you end up dead. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Guys, welcome back to the shed. Right. As you know, I was discussing these carburetors and with a few issues. Now, these three are okay, these are fine. However, this one needs to be replaced because somebody's put these in to be serviced or they've serviced themselves and they've used cheap replacement parts. And these brass air fuel mixture screws were, well, two of them are original and two are replacement. These are the replacements. They were soft as cheese and they were just breaking up when I was trying to take them out. As you can see, I've had to cut through this one several times to make new slots. We got this one out just fine. This one was out of this carburetor here. However, this one was a no-go. I don't know what happened. It stuck, refused to move anymore. I tried different things, tried impacts, didn't work, tried a bit of heat, didn't work. Uh, I think it might have jumped a thread and crossed the idea itself, it's the only thing I can think. So I need to go online and order a replacement for this. I'm still currently waiting on the my replacement. I'm still waiting on my replacement. Uh, what do you call that thing? Ultrasonic. The ultrasonic cleaner. That's what I'm, on. I'm still waiting on the replacement ultrasonic cleaner coming in, which has been delivered by my Hermes. Hermes, whatever you want to call them now. I'm not happy about that. As long as they don't chuck it over the wall, we should be fine. I'll chuck it up onto the roof. Or leave it lying at the door. Because, well, we know, we know what their delivery drivers are like. Moving on to the carburetors. The bikes need a bit of cosmetic work done to it as well. The front fern is unfortunately cracked. Quite a common thing, to be honest with you. But we've got the plastic welder there, so... This will be pulled off and we'll get this repaired. It's also cracked around the indicator. Again, this is something that's quite common on the phasers because when they're dropped, one of the first things to hit the ground is the indicator and it gets pushed in. The plastics bend and break. So we're going to get this done. I'm not worrying about the paint just now. I just want to get all this fixed so that the crack doesn't get any worse. I also have these engine protection bars to go into this bike. Not sure if the wife's going to like them on the bike or not, but she can make up her mind once we've, once we've put them on. She can have a look and see. I'm not sure who manufactures these bars in particular. If anybody can tell me, please do let me know. Uh, these were a bargain, actually. Well, in my, my opinion, they were a bargain. They were £25. I haggled down to 20 which you can't complain at. Well, I can't complain at. But somebody out there will complain. The other thing I want to do is replace this can because it's shorter than the original can. And the exhaust is too free flowing. Now, I could tune the carburetors. To go with the exhaust but i'd rather just take this scorpion can off and either put a larger scorpion can on or an original can because this can this can's getting on my tits but right we'll leave it at that anyway but this can because i've had to pull the baffle out of my own motorcycle and put it into this 
to try and get a bit more back pressure on this. Yeah, but what can you do? Anyway. What else? What else? There's nothing else really needing done straight away, to be honest with you. Once these cracks are fixed, the wife will decide what she's wanting to do, cosmetic-wise. She likes this colour, she likes this red, and she likes this glitter over the top of it. So, it'll probably be done in that again, once it's been ready to paint. But we'll wait and see. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to get away. So, until next time, keep yourselves all safe.